are capsules of five to one high potency dried extracts, uh, again, made with certified herbs. So five to one denotes that uh, each capsule, so the weight of a capsule, let's just assume uh, 500 milligrams for, uh, which most are, but just for uh, simplicity. If you have a 500 milligram capsule of our herbal extract, uh, five to one denotes that it's five times more potent than its crude equivalent. So if you were to take a, uh, a an astragalus root from a competitor who has simply dried the root, ground it into a powder, and put it in a capsule, you'd be getting, in fact, 500 milligrams of astragalus root in that capsule. Now, in our case, we take this 500 milligrams, put it through an extraction process so that we're actually extracting out the most medicinally potent part of these plants, and as what you end up is five times greater potency. So each 500 milligrams would, in fact, be equivalent to taking 2.5 grams or 2,500 milligrams, five times as much of the crude herb. A big difference, too, is that when you're taking a extract, a concentrated extract, uh, what you're doing is you're you're extracting out the the medicinally potent parts of the plant. So whereas uh, it's perfectly good for a potato to contain lots of starch, which has caloric value. Uh, it's not really necessary when we're talking about medicinal herbs. So, for example, golden seal is also a root. Uh, golden seal, we're looking for the alkaloids. So you take a high co uh, concentration of alcohol. Uh, the same could be said of echinacea, where you take a high concentration of alcohol and you really get a potent uh, alkaloid extract. Uh, so the starch is really not an essential component in this type of an extract, and this is where the bulk of the the uh, the root is really not uh, is not needed, and the type of extraction makes these a really uh, much more potent product than you would get from other types of types of uh, capsules or liquids. Basically, the same process is used for making uh, as we would use for making a tincture, and a tincture is a liquid or liquid extract where we take uh, basically the uh, crude herb. Uh, comes in in its whole form. Well, so we, taking the same example of uh, golden seal, uh, we would receive the whole root from our farmer here in Ontario, uh, and uh, it would come in, in this case, it would be dried. Uh, we would take that dr uh, dried whole root, uh, you know, do our initial uh, organolectic inspections and such on this product, should make sure it meets our quality specifications, uh, this root is ground, and then it's uh, macerated in a uh, ethanol or alcohol uh, solution with water. And this is macerated for a period of time, several weeks, uh, in order to fully extract all the medicinal uh, qualities of the plant, the herb. <clears throat> so after the several week process, what we do is we filter the herb, uh, the remaining mark, which is the, the herb material, is pressed to, to remove all the liquid and our, our tincture extract. Uh, now this, for the uh, dried uh, herbal extract capsules, we would basically simply remove the moisture. So it goes through a drying process. Um, it's a very gentle drying process that doesn't in any way impact the quality of the herb. Uh, what you're left with is a product that basically, with all the uh, the moisture removed, uh, it's a very potent product. We only use edible solvents, so ethanol and water are, are uh, typical, uh, whereas uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to get an 80% silymarin extract of milk thistle, for example, which is what many companies do sell. Uh, it's not possible to get that degree of uh, potency with just using ethanol water. On the other hand, uh, we don't think it's a good idea to use certain solvents that might be used in the industry, like ethyl acetate, as an example. So ethyl acetate is a very toxic solvent that is used to extract silymarin from milk thistle. Uh, of course, it's typically mostly evaporated out of there, but there are traces, and there is a certain allowable uh, level of these trace, traces of these solvents that are still remaining in the, in the powdered extracts that you would buy in store, and that's why you'll never see a certified organic milk thistle on the market, uh, they don't exist. Uh, ours, on the other hand, is certified organic because we do use only edible solvents. We start with certified organic herbs and we use a, an organic process. Pro organic process means that uh, there's no harsh chemical used in cleaning the machinery. 
uh, and it has to be all put through and vetted by a, an organic certifying agency. <clears throat> and our plant is uh, certified organic as well. So we have all uh, so particular types of cleaning agents, uh, that the way we do things it has to all be vetted by these agencies. Uh, and there's only a certain allowable uh, type of cleaning products and, and various things. Uh, it's quite stringent. And we do have that organic certification here at our plant. So we have 13 new SKUs uh, representing some of the most popular and best-selling herbs. Um, so what else makes our capsules unique uh, would be uh, so they're they're encapsulated, and then this means they're they're a greater ease of use. You know, there are certainly uh, certainly those people who just don't like the uh, the use of tinctures or liquids, uh, whether it's for taste or convenience. Uh, you do have to, you know, put them in the water, and it's more difficult to travel with. Whereas a capsule, you know, can be quite convenient. It's very bioavailable. So whereas tinctures will absorb in a matter of minutes, um, these extracts will take somewhat longer. So you're talking absorption of a tincture in five minutes. Capsule, you might be 15 minutes. Uh, but you're still getting the therapeutic efficacy. It's just not as immediate. And of course, because it's already in an extract form, your body doesn't have to really digest. Like if you took a, a, a golden seal and just ground up the root and consumed that in a capsule, your body still has to digest that root, which is very difficult for hard, woody plant materials like roots, uh, bark, seed. And this is really why we think it's essential to uh, extract these things. Um, we've also eliminated the need for a large capsule dose by having an extract because it's five times more potent than the crude herb. You know, other uh, crude herb type products, you'll see, uh, you know, a typical dose might be nine capsules a day. Ours is two capsules a day. So one capsule twice a day is typical. So a 60 veggie cap bottle will last uh, is a month supply. And these products have a two year shelf life. So it's quite good, uh, which definitely exceeds that of just simply putting dried herbs into a capsule, which uh, typically would lose potency in around, around six months. Um, so it's a very co a comprehensive uh, extract line. Uh, our packaging, here's a sample of our uh, fenugreek blessed thistle. Uh, so very clear uh, packaging as far as uh, the primary use is listed there. It promotes lactation, for example. Uh, the NPN number, which means it's been licensed by Health Canada. Uh, they vetted this product, uh, approved the uh, the claims that we make, acclaimed, uh, approved the type of uh, dosage instructions, uh, what it's used for, the extraction type, um, and as well approved the label as far as cautions, contraindications, and such. So it is a, a very safe product as vetted by uh, Health Canada. Uh, the potency is on the front of the label as I've explained, uh, and the equivalent amount of raw herb that uh, the capsule represents is also listed there. 